friends this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for all in this video I am going to discuss about scenario based interview question and answer part 21 first the input table balance table has two columns namely balance and dates now the problem statement write a SQL query to derive start date and end date column when there is continuous amount in balance column as shown below let's come back to the input table if you see the first three row we see that the balance is 26,000 and date is starting from 1st January 2020 and then 2nd January 2020 and 3rd January 2020 so for this balance to 26,000 the start date will be 1st January 2020 and the end date will be 3rd January 2020 so this is what is uh, it is coming in the output table for balance 26,000 start date is 1st January 2020 and end date is 3rd January 2020 similarly for the balance 30,000 start date will be 4th of January and end date will be 5, uh, 5th of January Again, this balance 26,000 has came and uh, this time the start date will be 6,000, uh, sorry, uh, 6th of January and end date will be 7th of January. And in the 8th row, the balance is 32,000 and the start date will be 8th of January and the end date will be the same because there is only one entry in the input table. And for 31,000, again there will be one in there will be only one entry and start date and end date will be same that is 9th of january now let's see how we can do this in sql server we can solve this problem by using lag function but before proceeding further let's revisit the requirement once again let's run the balance table which is our input table so this is our input table and our requirement is to get the or to derive the start date and end date start date is nothing but the minimum date and the uh, end date is nothing but the maximum date for a continuous balance so you might be thinking that if i am going to do a group by on the balance column and i will uh, and uh, if i am going to take minimum of dates and maximum of date on that group uh, on that group balance it will it is going to solve our problem but that will not solve our problem because 26000 is present again on the 6th and 7th row if you are going to do group by on the balance column these two uh, these two rows that is 6th uh, row and 7th row will combine together with the uh, with the uh, first second third and fourth row and out of that it is going to pick the minimum date and the maximum date so we cannot go by that method so in order to solve the problem first we have to get the sequence generated if we get the sequence generated for the first three rows as 111 and the uh, for the row number 4522 and for uh, row number 6 and 7, 3, 3, and 8, uh, 4, and 9, 5, then can, we can easily group by that sequence number and then we can apply minimum and maximum function on the dates field and we can get the start date and end date very easily. So let's see how we can get the sequence number. That is our first target. So what I have done over here, I have used CTE table started with with clause and given a CTE table name as balance underscore CTE. After that, I am selecting balance and dates and then I am using function lag function wherein I am using case statement case when lag of balance over order by dates is equal to balance itself then I am populating as 0 else I am populating as 1 and I am giving this this case statement result name as temporary sequence 
So if I run this piece of code, you see we got the temporary sequence as 10010011. But again, this is not the proper sequence. So uh, let me tell you how this how this lag function is working over here. If I copying, if I copy this lag part only. If I paste over here, and let it name as lag one comma. And if I run this. You will see that there is a column called lag1 and lag function what it does it gets the value from the previous rows. So I have used lag function on the balance. So for the first row the previous is uh, the previous balance is nothing. So null will come over here and in the second row the balance will be 26,000 because in the first row there is a 26,000 balance. In the third row, again 26,000 will come. In the fourth row, uh, again 26,000 will come. In the fifth row, there is a fourth row is 30,000. So 30,000 will come in the fifth row. So this is how it will keep on going. So the, the functionality of lag function is to get the value from the previous rows. What I am doing in this case statement, uh, I am trying to compare the lag balance with the actual balance. If both the balance are matching, then I am populating as 0. Otherwise, I am populating as 1 and I have given this column name as temporary sequence. If you see the result over here, I, ha I, am, I have compared the balance 26,000 with the lag balance as null and since these two are non-matching, so I have populated as 1. In the second rows, 26,000 and 26,000, it is matching. So I have populated as zero. In the third row, 26,000 and 26,000, again, it is matching at is zero. And the fourth row, 30,000 with 26,000, it is not matching. I have populated as one. So this is how the tempor temporary sequence is generated by using the case statement. But this temporary sequence is not the proper sequence which I have wanted. What I have wanted, I wanted one, uh, in the, for the first three row it should come as one one one. In the next two row it should come as two two two, and sorry two two, and likewise. So how to achieve that? We can achieve that by using a running total. If if you see in my sec, uh, in the second uh, temporary result set CT, I have selected balance and dates, and then I'm using some function with over clause. So this will give the running total so you, you must be knowing that running total will give for the first row it will give one for the second row it, it is going to give one plus zero will give one again for the third row one uh, one plus zero again it will give one for the fourth row one plus one will give two and for fifth row two plus zero will give two so i will be able to pattern uh, I, I will be able to print that sequence pattern so let me show you with the code actually so for the time being let's comment out this also not required here i'm going to select sequence select dates also let's run now so see the sequence is generated what i wanted that is that sequence is generated so for the first three rows i am able to see the sequence 111 for the next two rows 22 for the sixth and seventh row 33 three, and eighth row 4 and ninth row 5 so how this got generated this got generated because I have used some function with over clause and this will give the running total. Now, now, now our task is very easy. Now what we will do, 
we are going to group on this sequence number and balance number and we will we'll use minimum of dates and the maximum of dates to get the start date and end date. So I have used select balance and let's remove this now. I have used our minimum function. Minimum of dates as the start date, maximum of dates as end date and from the table sequence underscore CTE and finally I am doing group by sequence and balance column and I am ordering by sequence. Let's uncomment this also and if I run full piece of code here you go you got the desired result you got the start date end date for all the continuous balance column. That's all for this video. If you have liked my video, please do like my video in the YouTube and please subscribe my channel. Thank you and thanks for watching.